Okay, we absolutely got to talk about. There is a lot of new information to cover, plus we have new updates on the AAA Invincible game, which sounds like it's literally going to be huge. This is huge. That's what she said. What did you do, Drag Nation? I'm back with Super News, bringing you the latest superhero news in five minutes or less, because I respect your time if you subscribe. So if this information was valuable, hit the like button so it will reach more people. But if it wasn't for you, change it to a dislike. Invincible has been a massive hit for The Walking Dead creator Robert Kirkman and Skybound Entertainment. Invincible, the show, is heading into season three, which thankfully is airing in 2025, instead of having fans wait two years, and we'll be introducing the famous blue suit Mark story arc that comic readers have been hungry to see animated for years now. Yeah, that brother's starving. Yes, sir, brother. <laughs> There's also a live action Invincible movie that is still in development, according to Kirkman, that has been cooking for five years now, but is apparently because he wants it to be perfect, which I appreciate. We don't want another last airbender situation happening. The potentially big bigger update though was Skybound's push into video games. I reported on this over a year ago and despite what Hater said, I was proven correct when Skybound revealed their various plans to expand into video games, first with an Adam Eve visual novel and a Ubisoft produced mobile game called Garden the Globe, and now a major AAA game. That game announcement was a bit unique though and caused a lot of confusion that I need to clear up because there are some fans who incorrectly believe the AAA Invincible game is a scam or an indie Kickstarter project. Then we'll dive into the crazy new updates we got. First, the source of the confusion is that people found out about the AAA Invincible project from a crowdfunding platform aimed at retail investors called Republic, where Skybound was running a campaign that gave fans the opportunity to invest in their game development studio they were putting together in order to make the new game. This new studio is made up of very talented industry veterans, but fans were thrown off when they saw it was a $5 million campaign, which is a budget more in line with the massive hit game Power World, which famously only had a team of 50 people working working on a $6.7 million budget. But that's not what's happening here. The way Republic works is that you need a minimum funding goal and a max. You must cross the minimum goal, otherwise everyone who invested is refunded, and if you hit the max, you can't accept any more money. The minimum goal for the Invincible project was $50,000, which they blew way past, with a final tally of nearly $700,000, which is why you see it says the campaign was successfully funded. This was a small campaign aimed at allowing fans to become a part of Skybound and contribute to hiring some developers for the game, not to fund the game itself, which actually has a ton of money behind it. Not only did Skybound raise $18 million last year on a similar website, but they also confirmed on the campaign page that they have financial backing from traditional venture capital, and these companies are massive. One name you probably recognize under the Invincible backers is Skydance Interactive. They are a $4 billion company that Marvel fans will recognize as the owners of Skydance New Media, which is led by Un charted creator Amy Henning in developing Marvel 1943 Rise of Hydra, which is already one of the best looking games ever made. So this Invincible project is not some random Kickstarter game. When they say AAA, they mean it. Now as for the game itself, the campaign page gave us a lot of information, but at the same time, not much clarity. We know based on this description, it will be releasing story DLC, allowing fans to play in their favorite story arcs from the series, and it won't be a free to play game, but it will have some kind of online component and local and competitive mode. So it could potentially be a fighting game with a story like Sparking Zero or the Naruto Ninja Storm games or some kind of MOBA like Valve's Deadlock or an open world survival game. But we do know it will for sure have a story which was backed up by recent comments made by Skybound CEO David Alpert at Gamescom Latin America. During an interview with CEO Alpert and co-founder John Goldman, they discussed how they were hiring video game talent and Albert mentioned leaks about it being a really big game. Though the only leaks I'm aware of came from the AAA Invincible crowdfunding page, which confirmed seasons four and five of the TV series were greenlit by Amazon already. But the really interesting bit came when they were asked about the challenge of building a game around somebody as powerful as Mark, which the interviewer compared to making a Superman game where you had the issue of either needing to nerf the character's power or make sure they have a lot of enemies as strong as they are to fight. This is not actually a real problem, but it is a common misconception people in particular have 
have about Superman because they aren't familiar with his comics. He actually has way more weaknesses than just kryptonite, so balance actually isn't that hard in theory, and superhero games are more than just punching people. But Goldman responded by saying, well, if only there were a race of super strong people that Mark struggles to fight, which is obviously implying that we'll be fighting the Viltrumites in the game, but that sentence could apply to a lot of characters because Mark gets absolutely dog walked by enemies multiple times per season who aren't nearly as strong as a Viltrumite. So this should never have been much of a concern, but glad we got a tease of one of the enemy factions we'll be up against in the game. I don't know how the apparent online side will work, but I'm absolutely sold on getting to play a AAA game from the perspective of Mark and can't wait to play the Blue Soup DLC. Amazon's other hit superhero show, The Boys, also appears to be looking to make a big push into video games. Click the video on screen to learn more.